Welcome back to Power Sap Entertainment, where we put the skiddy dop doo da blop 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 in the skiddy boop, skiddy pop pop. I've always found YouTube intros to be hilariously over the top. Like, no one talks like this in real life. Top of the morning to you, ladies. My name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome to Game Theory. And where the game grumps. Can this video hit 500,000 likes? Whippy! My brother's always watching this Jerome ASF guy, and I know nothing about him other than the fact that he likes to yell "Oh, buddy!" at the top of his lungs at the start of every video. For some reason, this is the only YouTuber my brother watches, and every day I enter my room, I hear "Oh, buddy!" It's gotten to the point where I've memorized his intro and I've even started preemptively yelling it before entering my room. Oh, buddy, what's going on, dude? This is your boy Jerome back at again with Blade, Daisha, Japan, San Francisco. <laughs> what's funny is one time my mom saw me doing this, and I'm pretty sure she thinks I'm a psychopath now. Another weird thing I like to do is before I have to do any sort of presentation is I have to psych myself up in the mirror. Yes, 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 I can win. I feel great. I can do this. Ugh. My teacher once showed us a TED talk about body confidence and how forcing your body to act confident makes you feel confident. And ever since then, I've had to strike many poses in front of the mirror. Trust me, it works. Like, I've had moments during presentations where I felt so comfortable that I could dab and still get an A. So don't be surprised if you see me out in public, peeing in the Wonder Woman position, asserting my dominance. Recently, my hair has started to grow longer, and I've never really had long hair before, so I'm not sure if anyone else does this, but I like to chew on the ends of my hair. There was no real reason that I do this at all. Except that it makes the ends of my hair pointy and it brings me one step closer to looking like an anime character. <laughs> Probably the weirdest thing about me besides the corpses in my basement is that I say present instead of here. I only started doing it a couple years ago, but every time that I say here, I'd have to take a big breath because it'd be the first thing that I have to say every morning. So sometimes I'd say, uh, here? And I wanted to have something that I could say with authority. Plus, I think it's pretty funny when everyone turns around and hears me say, present. And the excuse that I always give them is, here means your body is here. But present means your mind is here. When really, I just feel self-conscious about taking a breath before saying here. This is an oldie, but something that I started doing when I was a teenager was running with one leg. I thought that I was so fast that I started betting my friends that I could beat them running a lap with just one foot. Looking back on it, this was incredibly stupid and even resulted in me accidentally breaking my friend Karstri's arm. But I'd only feel comfortable sharing that story if this video got two likes. Well, I was gonna end this video here, but since we're on the topic of selling out friends, a weird thing that my friend Conform likes to do is he likes to order soda with no ice. So every time that we go to a McDonald's, there's always an awkward confrontation. This one time we were at a Chili's and Conform said, Uh, can I get a soda no ice? And the waitress came back with a soda filled with ice cubes. Uh, uh, excuse me, I said no ice? Oh, I thought you said noise. Like one of those surfer dudes. So now every time he orders a soda, we like to harass him and say, Noise? Hey. The last weird thing that I like to do is when there's an awkward lull in conversation, I'll just I'll just beatbox.